Hi there. In this video, we are going to be fixing the scroll on a HP wireless mouse. If you want to see a bit more info right here. So it's an HP 280 silent wireless mouse. Let's get to it. First thing that I want to mention, I have a similar video for a Microsoft wireless mouse and basically the rubber from the scroll wheel was just sleeping instead of rotating everything in there. I have no clue if in here we'll find the same issue, but let's get to it. So obviously it's off. This one, you just pop the cover, remove the battery or accumulator in my case and let's see how do we open this thing doesn't it have any screws or they simply put them again on the underside under these uh, pads i was expecting to see them here because uh, they do have a cover and they could have put them here but no they didn't and we don't really have uh, that much uh, clear view in here but what i can see uh, let me try and bring more light like this hopefully hmm. not good angle enough okay now you see something shining deep in there we are actually rotating everything so it's not sleeping like it was sleeping uh, on the on the microsoft one you see, we are rotating the plastic itself. The plastic isn't falling behind. So this only has the rubber right here in the middle and the rest of it, this is plastic. Only the middle is rubber and it's not slipping. Uh, let me try and show you just quickly on another Microsoft. This has, I will also open this. Uh, now I can feel it's not clicking. Now it's clicking, but now if I do it slowly, it's slipping. So on this one, I need to open it up exactly as I did in the video that I will link in the description. But this one does not seem to have the same issue. It's rotating, but not registering. And that somehow tells me some dirt might be in there. But to fix that, let's start to remove uh, these little thingies might not be that easy but i think we can do it somehow we need to be able to also put them back together so mind where you put them to not make the glue dirty because then it will not uh, glue back in place and i will remove all of them now Okay, now I also removed the four screws and this is coming apart really easy, it doesn't have any uh, clips whatsoever compared to other mice. And it's quite a simple construction right here, we do have a bit of fluff in this area as you can see, so there is some fluff around here, you see it, but what I want to do is if this allows me to remove this wheel right here to be able to clean everything but i think i need to remove the pcb first yeah it all comes together i want to get rid of all that fluff because it might uh, go into the is this a rotary encoder this is not an optical one this does not seem to be an optical one Okay, normally mice have optical encoders. This doesn't have one of those. That's actually intriguing. Hmm. Okay. This could be good or could be bad. Interesting choice of... Uh, micro switches they are fully made of plastic yeah 
I don't know what to, uh, to tell you at this point in time. The, the blue LED, because this is a laser mouse, uh, the blue type. Uh, cache from soldering some marks, but they should not matter any shape or form. Power switch, which uh, at the end will be careful to get it uh, in here in the proper location, right there. But yeah, at the moment I will clean this with some alcohol and honestly use a bit of contact cleaner on this thing because uh, yeah, I don't really know what else to do and if that doesn't work then uh, it kind of sucks honestly because uh, on the optical ones at least you had a really clear view of what was causing any issues but in here uh, I'm not going to start changing rotary encoders in case of this thing uh, has failed. <laughs> yeah, not really happy about this. <laughs> I was trying everything to make this uh, rubber sleep. This rubber is not sleeping. Uh, so, uh, no, we are getting the rotation all the way through, nothing is uh, getting lost, I, I cannot literally stop it with my finger even if I try, or what, I would break something, so the rubber is rotating always with the plastic. Uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. So they fixed the problem that Microsoft mice and other companies uh, seem to have by having this uh, plastic all around and rubber just in middle but they seem to have introduced something with the, this rotary encoder yeah awesome so at this point for electric context WD-40 yeah hopefully I'm not going to destroy anything in here but uh, it's not working so more than already not working I don't see what I can do and I'm going to rotate it with my hand to make sure that everything penetrates in there. Yeah, okay. Have no clue. And I will do this for a bit. The, the buttons themselves are working perfectly, so only this encoder seems to be the issue. I will put a few more uh, drops of uh, contact cleaner and hope for the best cleaned the PCB just a little bit with alcohol but this thing is quite stubborn whatever they have in here try to not get it in the sensor itself you would cause a lot of trouble this doesn't affect anything it's just some residue from soldering shouldn't be an issue if it were an issue I hope they were smart enough to to solve it uh, directly from from manufacturing but yeah uh, yeah you know what I'm here I can do it, even if it's not perfect, it's better than what it was, so, yeah. Again, this is just some simple alcohol. Did it a bit on the other side also. I will kind of move it to allow it to dry. Bit of contact cleaner on this, makes a bit of a mark. And, uh, yeah, start putting everything back together, because I... I don't see any mechanical issue, it's nothing broken, so if the movement goes in the encoder, the encoder should record it, as long as it wasn't uh, damaged inside in any way or not making contact. So, let's do this. Oh, fluff, we do not want that near the sensor. The sensor itself is working perfectly, so oopsie-daisy. So the button is in this position. Let's also put this thingy in the same position. So towards me to the maximum. So it matches this one, it's towards me to the maximum. And uh, yeah, who knows what will happen. Nothing will happen because I forgot to put this thingy in. One side it's hexagonal and one is round so the hexagonal one goes in the encoder and if I try to hold the encoder with my hand 
no zero chance so there's nothing broken in here movement is being transferred from one to the other if this is not registering is just the encoder and for clickiness this is our clickiness yeah they are quite silent uh, buttons and uh, makes sense because this is a silent mouse it's in its name so again towards me slide this slowly in place it will go over these pins should lock in place hold it in there and make sure this actually works if i could actually properly hold it especially at this end what now nah, it works okay it clicks nicely uh, yeah put back this cover on it but first let's check our video sponsor pcb way pcb way can help you with pcb prototypes up to 14 layers even pcb assemblies fpcs which are flexible pcbs advanced pcbs up to 30 layers they can do cnc for you in all kinds of uh, file formats accepting even uh, archives only limit file size below 200 megs which is quite acceptable they can also do smd stencils for you more than one version and they also have a quite interesting module store where you can get lots of uh, electronics for your projects so thank you very much pcbway for sponsoring this video and let's get to what we are working on make sure the springs go in their uh, slots respective slots that's not uh, really easy to do but they came up in here so they are good and now in high speed put back four screws and uh, the little uh, uh, slip feet they need to allow it to slip so they are a material that slips really uh, slides really well so yeah hope we fixed it but i don't know it's back together i can actually give it just a quick brush if i'm in here but overall it's unexpectedly clean for a mouse that has been used for a while i will link its uh, original video i think i made a video for it when i got it in the description because i was really happy with it and i'm still uh, happy as long as this actually tracks and I think we can actually see the encoder. You can see everything spinning in there. So yes, it's clear. Even slower. Even faster. Yeah, it's working. But will it encode or will it not encode? That is the question. And I need to go to the computer to check that out. And uh, yeah, I'll get back to you. Just as an idea at the same height just so you know at the same time i was having trouble with this hp mouse i also have with another microsoft mouse and look at this so basically sometimes this is sleeping and not engaging but the encoder on this one looks similar but i never had any problems with them and i have microsoft mice for a really long time once you fix this just by getting it off cleaning the the oil probably it had oil in this area and it seeps through or oil from your fingers and managed to seep through in years and you put just a tiny bit of glue on this you never have any problems with it until it fully gets destroyed over the years but uh, not with this at least cleaned up all the oil with alcohol and i'm just going to put some super glue uh, in there try not to get it on the edges of this wheel not too much super glue just a tiny bit it's going to hold it in there 
it's the gel type and it's way more than enough and I'm going to do the same on the other side but after I put this side in because otherwise it will get really messy. Holding the side with the glue pressed so I have access to the top one and it's done, not rotating anymore so they are glued together. Perfect. Just realized to mention Depending on your HP model, you might have screws at the back as this Microsoft has. Then at the front, you might have just two clips under which the top goes. And uh, that's about it. And you just uh, close it with screws at the back of it. Although it's not properly lining up. Ah, now it lined up. I can close it with screws. So it depends on your uh, particular HP model. But yeah, I showed you for this one exactly. Yeah, Microsoft One scrolling happily. I showed you this just in case your HP is closer to this Microsoft model than uh, my HP. This one, who knows, I need to go to the computer and use it for a few days and get back to you. And uh, that changed a little bit because almost two months have passed since I repaired this and it's working perfectly. So, uh, Ah, I'm not in the desired area, let me move the pointer and now I can scroll away. So even slowly scrolling it's registering, if I scroll faster it's registering faster in either direction. Again going slow and sorry for the changing colors, that's really dumb. <laughs> but yeah, it's a online scroll tester. So anyway. Our mouse is fully working just by cleaning it with contact cleaner. So what happened in there, maybe some grease went into the encoder and we fixed it. I have no freaking clue, but it's freaking working and it's perfect. So hope this video helps you, in which case please give it a like, check out my other videos and as always see you in the next one. And yeah, please subscribe. Bye.